welcome to another segment of Tales from the Blind Side. I got my brothers Jamal Jackson center stage and Todd Harriman's with me today, man. So, yeah. Wait, right? <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, you know, I just feel like we've been starting off the same way. You know, here we are, another game. You know, the guys went on in the Green Bay. And that was pretty much it. Well, no, not not quite. You're missing some storyline. Yeah, <laughs> I believe it, 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 it was a little bit of storyline. <laughs> <there. laughs> yeah, just skip through all that there. Yeah, there was there was a lot of storyline that was just left out of it. I mean, you know, you go into this game. I mean, you know, this. I didn't expect for them to go in there and win this game. This was a game that I knew that we were going to go in there and take our lumps. It wasn't a matter of uh, losing the game. It was just going to be how bad, just from just because of how I see this team. And going into Green Bay, what were you guys thinking about this as going into this game? Go ahead, Jack. <laughs> I mean, all right. Well, uh, I didn't have high hopes, but I had, you know, some hopes of trying to mimic some success they had the last time they went up there. And they kind of like ran the ball down their throat. I thought that's how the game was going in the first quarter a bit, but – you know, it just, it just didn't manifest itself into much because, you know, I guess the lead back, uh, Miles Sanders, he didn't have a very good game on the ground. So no, that's the reason. That's one of the reasons Doug kind of got away from that shit. It was like, well, you know, we can't do what we did the last time we were here. But the um, Jordan Howard actually came in and had some positive yards running the ball. So I thought they would have gave him a little bit more than, I guess, the four carries that they did give him because he, he actually looked good. And I know given he just got there, so, mm -hmm. you know, the, the, the running back situation was kind of what it was. And, you know, of course, the the main topic was the, the play of the quarterback. And, you know, far too many times this year, this team has started off with like three or four, three and outs until they get a first down. And mm -hmm. it was just much of the same yesterday. If not, you know, it wasn't it, it wasn't worse as mm -hmm. far as, you know, previous weeks. But I say – uh, you know, the way that game was going, his it uh the actions by Doug Peterson to put the young kid in, it was warranted. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, because I mean that first drive was a 15 play drive. Now I, I count every play, like I log every play. Of course, there was a penalty in there, a holding at some point on earth. So really it brought it down to 14 plays. But I mean that was a nice for the start out the game, a nice long drive. You chew up some time off the clock. But you end it with a field goal, you know. So, you know, and then, then you know, that second drive is when the wheels started falling off the bus with two back-to-back -back sacks. But just talk about real something real quick, because I want to talk about that run game thing. Because I know a lot of people look at with Miles Sanders and they say, okay, you know what, with the run game, why did they abandon it? You know, why wasn't it working? To me, at times when I see them call the run game, they spread the line a little too thin at times where you're pushing, you're calling the safety instead of calling a Mike linebacker. You know what I'm saying? Well, because you have I, I actually heard, you, you can actually hear the verbiage, you know, um, on, on the screen or whatnot. You know, mm -hmm. uh, I think one play, Carson was telling uh, Kelsey to push it. And yeah. I'm like, okay, I can see why he would say that. You know, they're in a two tight end set or whatnot. You figure mm -hmm. you got enough bodies to, to get to the safety and, you know, call the guy next to him the mic instead of the actual mic. But I just think for the most part, it wasn't – it wasn't matriculating how they how they wanted it to. You know, mm -hmm. Miles was, what, three yards a carry? I mean, out of ten carries, you know, this is a guy that averaged, what, five and a half yards a carry, like, into this game. And, you know, Green Bay just made it a point of emphasis to stop the run, which mm -hmm. they pretty much they, they they pretty much did because they knew throwing the ball, you know, you got a quarter, you got a quarterback with his ego is kind of like in the dumpsters. It's, people are talking about benching them. You got a young rookie behind them that's you know trying to inch to get some uh some playing time. So it was a lot going on, man. <laughs> yeah, Todd, how how was you seeing it going into this game? Uh, well, leading into this game. I wasn't expecting a whole lot. I was looking forward to seeing how the defense was going to play because I thought that they'd been playing pretty good ball and that 
if they could keep playing how they're playing, especially against a good offense like Green Bay and, like, really kind of test themselves, then the offense could get a shot to, like, get things going. Um, so I, I was looking forward to it. You know, I, the offense, it's like you keep riding with it, hoping that eventually it's going to click. And I think that's kind of, you know, what they've been thinking too. And then finally it just got, listen, <laughs> it's too, it's, it's to the point I've, I've had enough. Like, remember when, uh, shit, I think we, we benched, was it Cobb in Baltimore or something like mm -hmm. that? Or, yeah. um, that was five. It, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Bench five for Cobb in Baltimore. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And I'm just wondering, like, is that, is that like a thing that's going to stick? You know what I mean? Or is that just kind of a, hey, let's let him watch the rest of this game so he can, like, kind of clear his head and see it from a different perspective, you know? Um, I just was like, you know, it's great to see something else out there. You know, you, at this point, what do you got to lose? You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Just but, to keep guys interested in it, but go ahead. But, yeah, with the run game, I I just don't see the consistency, like – and with with your with your question about pushing it to the front side, I think a lot of that has to do with which what what kind of a angle your running back's taking. If you if you're running the inside zone, you're probably not going to push it to the front side because that's just going to get caught up in the wash as he cuts it back. You mm -hmm. know, if you're going to run something a little more outside towards the numbers or the sidelines, you got to account for him, or else he's going to be able to stick you right there in the backfield. So, yeah. um, I just don't know if if the plays that they're pushing, you know, they're trying to get a body on a body. I just don't know if they're the right plays, you know, to set up our passing game properly. I just don't mm -hmm. know if, if that's it. Well, I know they called one play where it was going to be an outside zone to the left. And that's where you had um, number 54, the linebacker blitz that uh, a gap. And he came in and made a big play in the backfield. Well, on that particular play, you saw Kelsey push out to, to the safety. And so now that means that now you got you had a one technique on JP, and then they're trying to push over to the two linebackers yeah. trying to get to the actual mic. And of course they couldn't get to the mic linebacker because that one technique was holding JP up. So then the mic linebacker just hits a gap, and then bam, there's the, there's the play in the backfield. But my whole thing is with it, why would you push it to the safety? Why not yeah, just call the mic? Especially you got that bad toe out there, bro. You yeah. Know, get past, get, get across the face of that one technique. That's tough. That's tough to do if you're healthy. You <laughs> yeah. Know what I mean? it, yeah. And to me, Ooh. and you had everybody and shaded to the left. And to me, it's like, look, if instead of trying to push to the safety, just say, you know what? Check, check, black over, black over. We can run inside zone the opposite side. Yeah. And then now I we mean, can make something happen. That's what I thought that they were going to do because they were out flanked. And I'm mm -hmm. like, you saying push it? I'm like, push it? Why? Like, like you you you're stressing that right guard. He gotta like get through the, his one technique and get to the backer. Like that's kind of impossible. You don't leave a guy to go get another guy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So right. I thought I thought that was a, a situation where you know uh, the quarterback could have could have saw it, or Kelsey could have been like, you know, well, let's just go black over. So the fits are, are a lot better. You know, yeah. you got JP and him doing the R, and then you got like the tight end or the tackle, uh, the right tackle on the end, and it kind of fits better instead of we're overstressing the right guard and we're trying to bring the right tackle and the center's going to like, it's yeah. just, you know. It's not it, working. It was too much, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and it showed. It showed. <laughs> yeah. But you see it all the time with this group. And then. And for man, we cannot run a screen. When I know we keep talking about the screen game, man, and it's just yeah, man, can't can't run one to save lives. <laughs> yeah, it's just ridiculous because they don't know to block the protection. Yeah, it's, it's like everybody just gets out there. All right, yeah. hey, one Mississippi, two Mississippi. All right, go. And it, everything about it says screen. <laughs> I'd be easier to just tell them to like just try to run the protection and then when right. they beat you get out because get out. they're gonna beat you they've been beating you after about two and a half <laughs> seconds lately yeah. So yeah go ahead it's a good timing it was usually like one one thousand two one thousand go yeah perfect yeah, yeah fuck perfect. it <laughs> <laughs> one the screen that we want you to get beat we want you to block yeah, yeah when you get beat just just you know just just Make but what if we get hung up on it? What if we get hung up on it, coach? Ah, yeah. Don't worry about it. Don't worry yeah. about it. Because once you get beat, then you go ahead and get out into it. You know. But... 
you know, but if not, oh. you know, it's just wild, man. When I go back and I watch the film and I'm about to go back and I'm waiting for them to drop this all 22 because here we go. We go again and you had two sacks back to back. And, you know, like I sit down and I watch each game with a stopwatch, man. And I time from between the time the ball is snapped to the time the ball gets out of, out of the quarterback's hands. And I know a lot of people will sit there and just be like, oh, man, and, you know, he, he had four or five seconds to throw the ball. Like, bullshit. You know, <laughs> I don't know what world you live in that you think the quarterback has that much time to throw the ball. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, the one sack came in at like the first sack came in at like 2.5. The second one came in at like 2.4. You know, that's just you getting beat. You know, so yeah. It, and I thought that what Green Bay did a good job of, they understood slide protection or they understood that, you know what, if I can control the center, then I can single out and get man on man on the opposite side of guys. Well, you know, Green Bay is a well-coached team. You know, that, that mm. guy over there is the uh, alumnus of Saginaw Valley State University. So it, oh, it, yeah. he obviously that, knows right. his ball. Obviously <laughs> knows mean, his ball. I mean, they had okay, to right. you on the telecast yesterday. They said LeFleur, he 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 was uh he was a quarterback for one offensive lineman, Stallworth, <laughs> Todd Harriman. <laughs> okay, there you go. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Get a okay. shout out. On, get a get a shout out on the. On the... Shout out. Appreciate yeah. that. Appreciate that. <laughs> but yeah. <Shout> so... <laughs> but it just seems to me like we always get exposed where defensive guys, because people don't understand that if you understand protection, man, you can really get after an offensive line. Totally, totally. Uh. And then, like after the first quarter, you should know their calls. You yeah. know. At least after the first quarter, you know their protection calls. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that so. goes that goes that goes hand in hand. Like, okay, yeah, you know the protections, but I also know that they're getting to me at an exceptionally fast rate. Yeah. I don't want to get rid of this motherfucker. Like yeah. that ass, fuck it. Like yeah. first read, I'm yeah, I'm getting rid of it. Like, and I think that was the same series where when he came off the field, he, he got into the argument with one of the coaches on the side, like, I don't know who it was. It's some guy mm-hmm. with green Eagles cap on. He could have been an officer coordinator. He could have been a quarterback's coach. I don't know. Who Probably was, was Press Taylor. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, ironically, we, we didn't see him talking to Doug. <laughs> no. no. So, oh, you talking about when he was yelling? Yeah. yeah. I'm glad to see a little fire. You know what I mean? He should be pissed off. He played like shit. Yeah, yeah. And he's just getting his ass kicked. I mean, you know, he's right now. I mean, what fifty sacks still? He's been uh, sacked like fifty times, sacks right? Sacks or something like that. 50 well, no. Times. Well, he had forty six going into this game. Four yeah, sacks in wow. this. Yeah, he just had four sacks um, yesterday. And I mean, I don't even know how many quarterback hits between they had That's eleven. That's what it is, bro. That's what yeah. it is. As soon as you get 50 sacks, you got to get taken out, bro. They're like, it's too much for your health. They got to get yeah. you out of there. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, you know, like he came in there and, and snapped on press. I mean, you know, now. Yeah, but, that- but, but, but my thing is like, damn, dude, it took the 50th sack to show like that red skin like bubbling. Yeah. You know, like, damn, yes. dude, this, is, this has been going on all fucking season. Yeah. Like, and you know it comes out they had the uh, the players only meeting, which is just a fucking glorified call out session. Like, oh please do we're, tell! We're, I didn't hear about this. Yeah, <laughs> we're no we're, we 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 know we're bad. Everybody used knows to love we're those bad. meetings. So oh yeah, those meetings are awesome. Like... Yeah, we had a players only meeting. Yeah, what yeah. you guys got out of that? Absolutely <clears> nothing. <throat> Everybody know who needs to play better. Like those make no sense whatsoever. But no. this is what. This was my problem with that whole players meeting thing. It's like they have a players meeting and say, all right, you know, we're going to have a players only meeting and, and a player is going to address the team. But as soon as they break the meeting, they go run Everybody to the first beat writer. It. And, <laughs> yeah. it's, and it's like public knowledge. So my whole thing is, like, what's the whole point of having this come to Jesus moment and everybody calling out each other or whatever the situation is? But as soon as you break the meeting, you run to the beat writer and then let it be known what was discussed in a players only meeting. What's the point of it? So what was discussed? 
Carson got up there and said that he needs to show more accountability, that he needs to be better, yada, 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 Basically, yada, yada. everything you heard in the media, like the media complaints about the team, I guess it just resurfaced in a, the players only meeting. Yeah, yeah. They, all just, they all just reading the, the papers too much. Yeah, man, you got to leave it alone. Like, like yeah. honestly, even if I know I'm playing bad, like, there's no reason for me to stand up in front of the team to tell you guys I'm sorry I'm playing bad. No yeah. shit. We know that. Yeah. Like, I mean, like, I, hey. I just don't hey, bro. understand. <laughs> I don't know Everybody knows, bro. Right. Like, <laughs> yeah. why do I like it? Then, like, Doug was like, Yeah, man, it shows vulnerability. Yeah, it shows vulnerability and I don't growth. want a vulnerable quarterback. Like, yeah. I, I need you to strap on your boots and just get it done. Fuck it. However, we get it done. You yeah. know, like, all yeah. this sensitivity and oh, we got to do this and we got to do that and we got to coddle this person's ego and we got to make this guy comfortable. God damn, let's just win some football games. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and right now, I don't, you know, I don't see it getting any better. I, you know, well, you know, I thought when Jalen Hurts came in, there was a spark, but just sticking with what was going on with Carson, even when he did to me, I know a lot of people will say, well, hey, man, just get rid of the ball. But when you go back and you watch the film, the court, the, like sometimes there are times that when that back foot hits, when you're ready to deliver, the receivers don't even have their heads turned back to them. So they still running their routes. They still running downfield. So it's kind of like, all right, well, once that back foot hits, once he hits to the top of his drop and he's ready to let it rip, nobody's looking for the ball. Yeah, but man, you can't blame it on everybody around this guy. No. Jalen Hurts had the same receivers. Yeah. The same receivers. Yeah. But Jalen did like, a really good job of working that pocket a little bit better. And, and, and I'm, I'm just saying, like, you know, you know, like sometimes, yeah, you got to, like, be spot on with your shit. And then sometimes the the, the receivers, your guys, they need to help you out. Like, yeah. they need to bail you out of some shit. Like, but, and it can't be every time that, you know, these guys still stuck in mud and and then this guy wasn't open. Like, oh, I, one example, the play that he hit, Dallas got it over the middle. That's a mm -hmm. touchdown if he just throws it regularly. Right. Like, why right. are you jumping and throwing the ball? Like, the dude was literally five yards away from him. The dude the fell down. Yeah. I'm like, oh, like, just make make the easy play. If you make the easy play routinely, it'll all come back to him. Like, he's – like, it's like he's fighting this battle with himself. Oh, yeah. Like, trying to outdo himself every play. Like, they don't need a guy to play every play. Like, it's, like it's his last. That's what got him hurt. You know, mm -hmm. you gotta like rip, dial it back a little bit, and just like like let the game come to you instead of you trying to rush to get to the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I I see like when Carson gets under heat and under pressure in the pocket, he does a good job of like fighting and 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 getting free of a couple guys, and then like when he does, he just does, I don't think he has a clue where any of his receivers are. But mm -hmm. I I feel like when Hertz was out there. He actually would would dodge a guy and then reset and kind of want to make an attempt to throw downfield. Carson just seems to want to run that thing when when he starts to feel the pressure, mm -hmm. you know. Either that or just roll out, you know. He yeah. doesn't it, he doesn't it, find it, a new area to set up. Like Aaron Rodgers does a great job of that, you know. Man, he'll he'll feel a guy. He'll like he'll he'll step up and find a new little area to stand in. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Or mm -hmm. he'll throw it on the run. I mean that, that's a different animal. But I just thought that the like you were saying hurts out there in the pocket i think he was using his space a little better rather than just yeah. trying to panic and not give up a negative yardage sack and get past the you know line of scrimmage mm -hmm. yeah he, he he did and they also mentioned you know oh well hurts you know he did okay but he got sacked just as many times as wins did i'm like wait hold on he yeah he got sacked three times mm -hmm. for five yards all of his sacks was near the line of scrimmage or he ran out of bounds like mm -hmm. before he got to the line of scrimmage. And then at one time the dude came off and he sacked him. Like mm -hmm. man, Wentz, he's getting sacked seven, eight yards in the backfield, like trying to duck oh, yeah. and fight instead of getting rid of it. You know what I'm saying? So I mean the the kid showed some promise in what little he did have. You know, yeah. and then I, I thought it was enough to at least warrant to get him some more clock or to start one of these games coming up. Cause mm -hmm. right now. 
like your quarterback, he it's not all there. Whether it's the organization, whether it's the people around him or his supporting cast, we know the offensive line hasn't been playing great. I mean, let's just call it what it is. Him and JP, they got pinched yesterday. Yeah. They both got pinched. Yeah. Because they both played the entire game last week. So, yeah. I mean, they, like, <laughs> you know, that, that's how it is, man. Like, that's, that's how this game is. It, it then, I mean, you know. But bro, hold on. It, Doesn't this toe need <laughs> surgery? Yeah. Yeah, they said. But he was standing up watching the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe he was standing on his heels. Yeah, he was, he was had the toes up in the air. They were elevated. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't he, understand. He, he, he had a rough game yesterday, man. Oh and man, he got worked was, over really it nice. Was, it, it was rough from the standpoint of like you saw the injury. Like he was favoring the toe, and I'm thinking oh, to myself like, man, if you're favoring it, like, no, you need to check out of the game because this guy's getting his ass kicked back there. Like the quarterback is getting hit. Play him and play out. Like it's been like this all year. Like, it's time to, like, put the uh, the ego aside. Oh, we know you're a great player. You're going to go be a ah! Hall of Famer. Let these young guys or, or these capable guys who are healthy enough to go out here and try to salvage something. You yeah. know, and, and, and they wait until, like, the third quarter to, to yank him when it was bad all night. Yeah, and I saw when he got rolled up one time, uh, talking about JP, he got rolled up one time on a run play. And, you know, and he hit the ground and you could tell like something was wrong with him at the time. And Jordan Maialata, you know, he can't went, ran over there to go pick him up, you know, because he does pick everybody up that hits the ground. <laughs> you know, <laughs> he's like <laughs> he's a big, friendly giant. Right oh, there. my God. Like, all you need I to do is throw your hand him, up. You throw love your hand up him. and Jordan Maialata is hey, on the way to me. come pick you up, dog. I mean, you know, <laughs> when a hero comes along. So you know what I'm saying? Well, we, I mean, he is. We're going to start calling him Enterprise. Hey, I'm trying to up. tell you, man, <laughs> big, big Jordan is on the way, dog. He's coming to get you, dog. When you hit the ground, best believe Jordan is coming he'll to get you, you dog. Oh, yeah, he's he'll there pick to pick you up. you up, man. When a hero comes alone, you know, and he's there <laughs> in slow motion, coming to get you. <laughs> you <know? laughs> but I'm just saying, but, you oh. know, so... So, I mean, I saw him when JP hit the ground and Jordan was like, hey, mate, you all right? I mean, when JP hit the ground, you know. <laughs> hey, you know, hey, 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 mate. Hey, 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 mate, you all right? Is it your toe? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then so he got him up, you know, and then they, and then they went on about their business. But then you saw in the game, man, again, man, Green Bay was not playing, though, because, man, you had that where they were like, all right, you know what? We kind of got a feel for how this slide protection is going to be. So what we're going to do, we're going to occupy Kelsey, and then now I'm going to put this man over here on a three technique on JP, and we're going to give you all kind of cross face stuff. It's going to be, yeah. I might start in a one technique, come back to the three, three back to the one. You about to get worked over today. And it, and it was not good. It was not good. You know, and I, and I felt like this was what I was thinking with being someone moving over to guard just because of the muscle memory that has to happen, being able to go from <coughs> left to right. I didn't, you know, it was going to show itself at some point and it, and it showed itself like, um, yesterday. Yeah, I mean, I just think uh, he's beat up, man. He's to a yeah. point where he can't play how he wants to play. And, you know, hats off to him for trying to do it. But maybe, if you, you, you know, I remember a game I played with my, my bicep was torn uh, trying to go against J.J. Watt because we had one more week to go until Mathis came back. So I was just mm-hmm. trying, to, trying to make it happen. Second series of the game, I like twist my ankle up, and now I'm out there trying to like on a, on a twisted ankle and, and a and a bum arm deal with AJ JJ Watt, and I was like, nah. At this point, uh, I'm yeah. hurting us out here more than anything, yeah. so I shut it down. Yeah. And I feel like that's probably the realization J, uh, JP came to. You know what I mean? Yeah. At this point, he just needs he needs to be healthy to play. Yeah, and and and, and, the, and the reality of it is just that right at this point, there is no getting healthier. You know what I'm saying? When you only got no. when you're 12, 12 weeks into this thing, it is what it is. Now you know. I mean, there's no bye week. If you, if you need surgery, you might as well go get it. Now yeah, go ahead and go get your toe, get your get your toe tightened up, and do whatever they need to do with it, and then you just move on from there. But um, you know, it, 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 it just sucks to see it go down like that. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does. But um, I thought across the board, everybody else. Jordan Maialata, man, I tell you, man, you know, 
for someone that's only been playing the game for three years, he, he continues to impress me. You know, I, I think that he, he, he's definitely uh, getting a lot better with his technique, the way he's using his hands, the way he takes his sets at times. He's not giving away run versus pass as much with his stance um, compared to just in this Green Bay game. You could tell like there was a, a, a change in just how he was um, getting in his stance. But I felt like, you know, as he continues to progress, man, I think he's definitely the left tackle of the future. I think how do looks, you guys I think he's. I think he looks great too. I mean, yeah. he gets great movement in the run game. And I think that's one thing that's always a positive for your tackle because, you know, the athletic guys, he looks like he can pass pro and stuff. But I think the bonus is being able to set the edge, you know, mm -hmm. and I think that he's able to do that. Uh, he's just got such a big, strong body um, and he moves well. And, and I think that that's kind of what you're looking for in a left tackle. Uh, mm -hmm. And considering that he's only been doing it for three years, you know, he's got tremendous upside yeah, and, absolutely. You know, as long as he's got the drive and maybe now that he's been out there, you know, uh, and gotten a taste of it. And if he's a starting left tackle can see what kind of money he can make, go get after it this off season. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. No, he, he has some uh, moldable qualities. That's for sure. Cause mm -hmm. shit, I mean, like, like we've been saying, he's never played, football up until this point so it's not like he's going to have any bad like habits or bad tendencies but what I would stress is that you know if he can get the technique down like yeah. you know the like the proper like the, the the leverage the timing the punch if he can get all that stuff down and then just work on switching those games off yeah he'll get paid a lot of money man yeah he's a big dude and he's an athlete as yeah. they like to call it you know, this is a big guy. He's a big guy that can run. He's very powerful. Hmm? I think he's 20. He's like 23. 23, 24? Yeah. yeah, he's yeah. 23, 24. Yeah. Yeah, he's got like an old, old, old soul vibe to him. Well, yeah. he, plays a, he, he plays a ukulele, dude. He's a ukulele. Some, just, yeah, some bird yeah. of our generation. You know, I'm sure like, he has some some interesting like snake fighting stories and stuff <laughs> from Australia fighting alligators yeah, 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 alligator yeah, snakes, all type of swamp things. <laughs> I wonder if he can play a didgeridoo. I have a didgeridoo. A didgeridoo? Yeah, a didgeridoo. Do you think he can throw a boomerang? That would be awesome. Can he make one? I'm almost I'm almost certain he can throw a boomerang. You think so? I mean, like, yeah, yeah I can throw a boomerang, but like throw it properly and like catch it. <laughs> where, it. where it actually comes back. Yeah. Where it I comes back to you. <laughs> <laughs> like I could toss the motherfucker, but anybody that can throw a boomerang. I just I can't I can't throw a boomerang. <laughs> <laughs> we might have to ask him. Like, hey man, can you actually like what do you make a boomerang out of? Like what's what kinda... a legit boomerang? from like Australia look like what are they made out of you know the plastic ones you can see in the store are kind of whack yeah. but yeah no nah. I, I, I want something real deal you know we got to talk to him about that that'd be real with dangerous. The boomerang. yeah see see what his boomerang real, game is like you know real, real dangerous man I don't know some, I shit just, you, I... some shit you throw and it comes back in a different direction that's dangerous but it kind of circles back too yeah. you know yeah. well you know it's some <laughs> It's some objects yeah. in that path on the way back. Yeah, I don't know. know. <laughs> maybe, maybe we know. We're going to make sure we talk to him about this. We're going to have to get to the bottom of this boomerang thing, hold on, man. But, man, all right. So, yeah. That was man, a weird so, tangent right there. Yeah, it was cool. <laughs> but, I mean, <laughs> but I thought that, you know, like I said, like Jordan, I think he's coming around, man. You know, he's coming around. I think that he's playing a lot better, you know. Um, you know, it's it's just that you know when you when you, when you're taking your lumps like this, it just it just is what it is, man. You just got to keep riding this thing out, and you know, and um, and it's now it's almost to like whoever you put in front of him, man. He's been holding this up. He's been holding his own. So it's I, well, I'm excited to see how he continues to progress. I would say a positive for the state of their team is this is a great year for him to get out there and learn how to play left tackle. You mm -hmm. know, because if if he has some struggles and stuff, it's not like he's ruining their shot at the playoffs. Yeah. You know, I mean. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that, that, <laughs> I mean he kind of is, though. Like, they're like mm -hmm. a game and a half out, dude. So, yeah, he, if he fucks up, he is ruining it. Dude, that's not. This, <laughs> this is it, man. That, I mean, you've seen all the wins that you're going to see from this team, man. Who are they really? going to beat? Who do you think Who they, they beat? beat? Oh, they beat the Saints this week. 
No. Hurts I versus Hill. Expect, I, I fully expect them to beat the, the, the Saints. Yes, oh, I do. hot takes with Jack. I do. Yeah, I do. No. I do. You know why? No. You know why? Because this is the, the, this game will like depending on who they start, who Doug starts, is either gonna make or break Carson. Either he gonna come out firing on all cylinders, moving the ball, moving the offense, running how it should be ran. Or they're gonna put the key back in. And I don't he don't want that. Did you hear his press conference last night? They asked yeah. him, hey man, do you did do, do, do you get anything out of being on the sideline and watching the game? He said no. Who said that? I want to be in there. Carson. Yeah. Oh, Carson said that? Yeah. Carson. Yeah. yeah. Like, so I, he's <clears> burning <throat> up to get back out there, man. I mean, and honestly, I think this is a perfect opportunity because man you're playing a team that has a quarterback he's known for running he can throw it a little bit you know not the greatest but you know he's an athlete back there and man you come at home you know they're they're technically not 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 a very good outside team mm. it, it, it's time to start you're gonna have you're gonna it's, have you're gonna have big rig her big over there right guard right yeah. from start to finish hopefully but I, I, big I, I just think big. It, it's all or nothing this week. <laughs> it's all or nothing. Yeah, but but uh, you got a defensive front. Yeah, that's that a great story. After it. Yeah, that was an amazing story. <laughs> oh, he left. <laughs> oh, he's gone. Well, oh, there he is. You back? All right. And we yeah, on the so. phone, so I mean, I got people calling me, man. Like after <laughs> I said that, they were, uh oh, let me call it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But nah, I, you know, but this is gonna be a nasty defensive front, man. <clears throat> and New Orleans get after it, dude. So, uh, you know. They, they do, but they get after it even more when they're, you know, in Louisiana, in that dome, mm-hmm. on that turf. Yeah, it's yeah, going to yeah, be yeah. cold on, on Sunday. It's going to be cold. Like, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, they're not a very good cold weather team. History has shown that. All right. You know, in, my, in my eyes. But this is a different year, and, you know, offensively, the Birds have been struggling. I'm just, you know, wishful thinking because, you know, when you see a performance like what the rookie put on, it wasn't the greatest, but the offense moved. They scored. It was some juice on the sidelines. The fucking special teams ran a kickoff or ran a punt return back. The defense got to right. stop. Like, he 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 injected energy into the team. So, yeah. if I'm Carson, hell, I'm staying at the facility all week. Like, I'm putting in overtime, triple time. Like, I got to get this thing turned around, it's, and it's going to take me – if if motherfuckers don't want to follow me, fuck it. I drag them with me. You know that's mm. that's the kind of mindset he gotta have. Like damn, all this yeah. cookie cutter shit. Yeah, bro, it's almost like too little, too late, bro. Yeah, like, why didn't you fire up before you got your ass benched? Yeah, yeah. Hey, man. He was trying. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm not. I'm not Carson, but I'm trying. I'm trying to be in this corner, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it, yeah. It's, 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 if if we take away, if we take away. The the contract. Who would you guys play? Just based off of the game right now, after yeah, after I saw yeah, those two man. last two games, yeah. I probably go Hurts right now, man. I probably go Hurts. You know, just because I think that with this offensive line, the way they've been playing, dude, they've been giving up. I mean, seven sacks in this last game. You had six sacks last week. I mean, it's it's been ridiculous how much pressure they've been giving up, and you about to go up against a, a defensive front right now. That's what they, they're sixth in the league right now in sacks with um, 30. They just had they had three sacks last night, uh, yesterday. So they, they finished with 30. They got 36 sacks right now, which puts them right up there in the top two or three in sacks right now, man. I mean, this defensive front is no joke. And with our offensive line, the way they've been playing, I probably would go Hurts, man, just because of how he can make some plays with his legs. Just then, that's just with me, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, you know, and I, I think that Wentz still is talented. I think he has he has a lot of talent there. But right now, I think Wentz is seeing ghosts. And, and, you know, you mess around and you start running games with these guys and people crossing his face. And now, I did a study on the Saints on, on defensive front last um, from last year, man. They do an excellent job of layering their rushes. You know what I'm saying? So you're never going to see two defensive ends collide behind the quarterback. They're always going to be one guy's going to be a little high, another guy's going to be lower, and they're going to be they're going to do the same thing with their defensive tackles where one of the defensive tackles might be high and the other one's going to be a little lower. So they do a really good job 
of layering your rushes and funneling it into their quarterback. So the way our offensive line has been playing, I don't know, man. You know, to me, I would much rather get somebody out there that could probably make some plays with their legs. I mean, I mean, I don't Carson listen. can I... make plays with his legs. Yeah, he just needs to. He just, he just seems too skittish right now. And that's the problem. Yeah, you know, and I don't. Yeah, like if yeah. if shit starts rattling around once you hit the turf fifty times, you're not trying to like look for anybody downfield. You're trying to save your life and and maybe you know get back to the line of scrimmage. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, you're just trying to get back to the that's line. That's what it looks like. That's yeah, what it fucking looks like. You're not trying to say. Yeah, that's true. You're just trying to – I just don't want it to be a sack. I don't want you're it to be – to save your life. Yeah, I don't want it to be a negative play. You're just trying to get back to the line of scrimmage, and I think that that's where it is. But I think that this defensive front can create that problem. I mean, you know, they had eight, eight quarterback hits against Atlanta. You know, yeah. All right. So, with, with, yeah, with, with Matt Ryan, you know he's a statue back there, you know. But, but dude, how many like, sa- how many sacks did they have? Three. <laughs> yeah, they had three sacks. They gave up three sacks, eight quarterback hits. They, or the I, mean, I, don't, got- I, I, I don't I don't disagree with your assessment. I'm just saying, like, this would be that last hurrah. You know what I'm saying for yeah. my guy. Like, you say you know circle what? of wagons. Hey man, one more time. <laughs> uh, we are giving up double the digits. Thing. The whole thing. It, a lot of it probably is going to depend on like what what's the vibe of the locker room. How does everybody else? Who does everybody else want out there? Do you think like wh- where does the locker room stand on that? Yeah. yeah. After last night, who do you think? I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm thinking a lot of guys want want to see hurts. Yeah. And, and I, I mean, yeah. I feel like they probably all feel bad for Carson and, and know he can ball. Mm-hmm. But I feel like, dude, you you saw there was a change in energy when Hertz came out. Like yeah, you said, of course. So like, yeah. and everybody else notices that. Like yeah. all the other guys on the field notice that. So, well, I mean, they're gonna be like, the, oh yeah, the let's nation roll. knew that. <laughs> <laughs> dude, like when Hertz <laughs> when Hertz stepped onto the field right after that, you saw a big. A bit, even a big special teams hit where you saw a guy come oh, down, yeah. get a nice hit on the special teams play. I mean, you know, just the energy on the field just turned up. Defense started coming out there, getting a couple of three and outs. You know what I'm saying? It was just a totally different vibe. Just look at when Hurt stepped out there on that <coughs> field. And, um, you know, they, I think they came out and had a couple. Yeah, you had a you had a five play drive. Well, no, you had a 13 play drive after Hurt's first time out there. But then after that, it was three and out, three and out. You had a punt return by Reger. I mean, you know, it just something different happened out there on that team. And it got and it's, it seemed like the guys for a little bit felt like, you know what, we might have a chance to pull this thing off until they gave up that damn 70 something yard run. <laughs> right. Oh man. Yeah, that was like, you know, just the air just yeah. just left yeah. the room. I was like, they were gassed. They were gassed. Oh, yeah. that, there it is, you know. But you had gave it a good shot, though. I mean, you were feeling it. You were feeling it. Uh, oh, man. I mean, it's going to be interesting, man. Like, I, I like what the kid did. You know, I still, you know, people all, people people may call me crazy, but I think this is, you know, his game is just like Russell Wilson's, man, coming out of coming out of college. They both did the same thing. They both transferred and went to other schools and became captains their senior year for the school they mm-hmm. transferred to and yeah. led them to a bowl game. Like they mm-hmm. both, this dude almost won the Heisman. Like, I just don't get the notion of, you know, he can't do this, he can't do that. I mean, hell, yeah. he threw a bomb to Rager. That looked yeah. perfect in the face of the blitz. They blitzed to that side and he hit him perfectly. Like, yeah. he, he did threw everything. He a nice ball to, uh, to Fogum. Fogum dropped that shit. Dude, mm-hmm. Fogum, Fogum is becoming fucking Jeremy Lin. Mm. Like, dude, he had Lin the sanity. best. He had like the best full mm. game stretch ever, and now he has he hasn't had a pass in like three weeks. Like, it, it, the ball coming straight to him, he dropping it. Like, I know. come on, man. Like, now tell me this: how much, you, sanity. how much do you? <laughs> how much do you think this whole Alshon getting interjected back into the plane into the uh, system? How much do you think that that plays into it with throwing Fogum off of his uh, his rhythm? Because Alshon had one target yesterday. One. Yeah. 
Yeah. Bogum had one. No, I think he had two. No, he had two. Yeah, yeah. two. Yeah. There was a nice so defensive play on the first one, and then the other one just straight up drop. You can't blame Alshon's present for Fulgham's lack of productivity. Like okay. the dude that like they rarely throw the ball to a receiver hey, bro. at all. They fucking throw the ball, you catch it. That's your job as a receiver, right? Yeah, you catch the ball. Well, you, well, you, they the got ball. a category, <laughs> but they got a category on the stats that's called targets, right? Yeah, they right. do have targets. And it was only it was only three between the two of them. So yeah, who, who, so like damn. Yeah, they he, only let's like see. The line of scrimmage and he he should have had move. maybe they say hey, maybe they say he should have had three targets. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe maybe that's what they're getting at, Jack. Maybe yeah. he wants his three targets. Yeah, he wants his three because he had he had two targets. I mean, he's obviously upset that he only got two. He's slapping two. the fucking ball on the ground. <laughs> yeah, he had two targets and then you had one. Um, what, but you know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do. They, it is a lot of they, tight end throwing in this in this system. Dude, look at go go and look at the day of like just the the, the stats, the game stats, man. Yeah. You know what guard had seven catches? I think he had like nine targets. Yeah, he had five catches on seven. Five targets. catches on oh, seven yeah. targets. Okay. Yeah. But everything else was to a back. I think who who was in the, 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 had the a catch next too, league, well, right? Well, you had Ward. Ward was the second one. He had five he had like targets, five. three catches. And then you had uh, Zach four targets. He had two catches, um, and then the rest was one, one, one. Uh, Reger had one, one target, uh, one catch, one target, and then uh, Jeffrey one target, and let's see, Fogum had only but only had two targets. Hightower had two targets, zero catches. Miles Sanders was zero targets. I mean, it's one catch, and, I mean one target, a, it, zero. And it's a lot of times where. You'll see little clips and little cutups on like the little on oh, social media or whatnot. And they're like they'll circle guys and say, "Who's open?" The fuck you mean who's open? This NFL. If it's one on one, he's open. Mm-hmm. Like that. That's what that's what I was always taught. In the, in the NFL, nicely thrown ball. It has to be a perfectly if, thrown if, ball. If if a guy is one on one, he's considered open. Yeah. Like, oh, he's not open. He's not open. That's three guys being covered man to man. Give them a chance. Yeah. <laughs> like, they don't have to be wide open for you to throw them the ball. That that's my mm-hmm. only gripe with seeing some of the the oh well, Wits ain't got nobody to throw it to. Well, goddamn, if you get a guy's a chance, like, yeah. let's see what happens. Yeah. Well, if the yeah. if the line holds up a little bit, you know. Yeah, that's a big F right now with the way this line has been playing. <clears throat> Before we go any further, Todd, tell us about body check, man. Oh man, uh, are are you having trouble thinking of some <laughs> gifts to buy for your relatives or sweetheart for the holidays? Well, <laughs> does Body Check Wellness have a have have you in mind? Uh, we have some sampler uh, gift sets that you can go to on our website. You could also grab some. Uh, CBD oil, because why not? It's Christmas and it's stressful and CBD relieves your stresses and also helps you sleep like a baby. Um, go to bodycheckwellness.com. That's B-O-D-Y-C-H-E-K wellness.com. Use, use checkout code or discount code blindside, B-L-I-N-D-S-I-D-E for 20% off. Uh, you can go ahead and get somebody a nice little hoodie if you'd like. We have some apparel. Uh, I believe we have um, hats, uh, all sorts of fun stuff. So just go check it out. <laughs> Use the promo code and uh, buy your sweetheart or loved ones something nice. The gift, you go. the gift of wellness. Yes. Bodycheckwellness.com. There you go. Dot com. All right. Out. Yeah. All right. Cool, man. But yeah, man. Just back into this game, man. You know, let's flip over to the defensive side of the ball. Aaron yeah. Rodgers, when he gets on, man, he is absolutely damn surgical, dude. You know, just watching him play yesterday, you know, there was a drive where it just seemed like a ball didn't even touch the ground. And he was just out there directing traffic and then just out there just like, all right, hey, you know what? Here you go. 
here you go, here you go. I'm dicing y'all up, slicing y'all up. Here's a handout, discount, double check. Let's keep it moving, touchdown. Take that, I'm out of here. You know, it, it, it was amazing to sit there and watch him work that offense. And, you know, you go back and you look at, I know, I know right now a lot of people, you've had Slay for the second time get challenged. He gave up his first touchdowns in this game. Um, got pummeled. Yeah, he got pummeled. He got pummeled. <laughs> <laughs> he did take a he took a good shot to the face, you know. <laughs> in the face. Yeah, in the face. <laughs> <laughs> took a shot to the face, you know. But uh, so you know, what are we gonna do now? Because so they might be down with a, with a calf strain. So. Mm. Yeah, that's tough news. Those things are hard to heal too. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, he has been doing a lot of running these past two weeks, so it's shit, time. my hamstrings to be fucked up too. Yeah. Yeah. You know Is it a hamstring like, or a calf? It's a calf calf strain. Calf strain. Oh, a calf strain. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, well, even worse. Oh, man. I mean, yeah. yeah. Even worse. <laughs> those are. Those, remember, are, those are tricky too. Yeah. I remember when it's I strained my strain. calf. You know what Coach Reed told me? What's that? It was a mul- it was an old man injury. Oh no. <laughs> That's what Big Red told me. He said, oh, oh that man. happens to old guys. Oh man. Oh, Big Red. Oh, that's wow. Yeah, he used trying, to throw, he, to he loved to throw daggers at me, bro. Love to throw daggers at me. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But yeah, man. So, you know, to me, I, and I know a lot of people like I was asked a question yesterday as um are Slade's best days behind him. And I don't think so, but you know what? Uh, he's been challenged a lot since Joe Burrow, since Cincinnati. Like, Joe Burrow went out there and was just like, nah, I, th- I see some chinks in the armor and went after him. And ever since then, you saw a lot more quarterbacks just like, look, nah, we're going to go ahead and see where you're at. And, and, you know, up until yesterday, he hadn't given up any touchdowns, but then, you know, you get out there with Adams, man, he was just an animal. Yeah, Adams was an animal. But 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 I mean he's a beast, dude. Like yeah. he's the way that he goes after the ball, it, it mm-hmm. was such a, a, a nice thing to watch. And I don't know if that's because of the way that Aaron delivers it, but man, that ball's got so much nice touch on it that they can just go up and get it. Like they don't it doesn't have to be right on. Like he's not missing. Mm-hmm. Like he gives the receivers a chance to to just go get it themselves, you know? Yeah. It's not like, oh, it wasn't there, I couldn't catch it. You know, it's on them at that point because he puts it in their wheelhouse and and his receivers know that. So I feel like they just are hungry for the ball, man. They go get that shit. Yeah. I don't I don't see that for, for the I other mean, side. I mean, they it, you know? they um they uh they develop some receivers, man. Like mm-hmm. he can throw that bitch to anybody. Yeah. And yeah. it's it's kinda like he's out there playing seven on seven. Like they went for it on fourth and one on a goal line and threw it. Yeah. Like who? Like normally you'll run that bitch or sneak it. They threw mm-hmm. that motherfucker. Like, no, he, he stepped back in the uh, play. Took one point four seconds, and it was beautifully schemed. And then, bam! There game. you go. Yeah. Right. I mean, I mean, but that's just when you got a Hall of Fame quarterback and you right. got, you know, a talented receiver yeah. like Adams. We like, had a Hall of Fame dude. quarterback. Don't you remember? Don't you remember? Like before the season? <laughs> <laughs> no, we did. <laughs> Yeah. Remember? Wentz is going to be a Hall of Famer. <laughs> Who said that? They crowned him. Mm-hmm. Oh, Damn. okay. Shit. Wentz in the locker room like Nacho right now. I want to win. I just want to see what it tastes like. I want to see what it tastes like. I want to see what it tastes like, man. Fuck all that. That boy went on the sideline cussing the bitches out. Ain't no motherfuckers checking me. Get that go ass back there. You said you complete the complete fucking pass. <laughs> yo, yo just, just, just imagine because you know he don't. I don't. I don't. I don't think he cursed. Like, like, how did that conversation go? Like, I don't know. Like, you think I there mean, was some gollies? Like, some gollies? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. It was just some dark, 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 some mother freaks. Dag nabbits. Yeah. Dag nabbits. Jesus, like Jesus. No, we won't, we won't say the Lord's name in vain. No, you can't Jiminy, say the Lord's name in vain. Jiminy no. Crickets. Yeah. Can't do that. Like, Mother I mean, freak. Just, Jeepers Creepers. Jeepers Creepers. <laughs> you get your darn behind out there, Buster. 
snappy with the reporters or whatever after the game with some so, of the- so so let me ask you this we've seen what like one really really good year from Wentz right yeah. so far if he does yeah. come back this game and has like a great game is he is he back like there's no like <laughs> no more like, we just forget about everything else like, what, what the fuck <laughs> Yeah, you be you go out there and have a hell of a game against New Orleans. Then watch all these last it, games. Where, it, you know, it, it, it absolves you from <laughs> any past regressions. Yeah. You yeah. are back. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't know. He gonna mean, have, it'll 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 it. it uh, well, his contract doesn't band kick band. in until mm-hmm. next year anyway. His contract kicks in yes um, next year. I I think that um. I've been hearing some reports that if the Eagles are going to get rid of them, they have to do it this offseason. If they wait until the next offseason, then it start, it gets a little dicier when it but comes see, that's to the cap money can, and all that. But you, can, but you can work out like trades with teams to absolve mm-hmm. some of that, you know, in a package. But I don't think a team would, you know, if Wentz is, is as good as, you know, as advertised previously, then people should jump to that, right? Like they have a quarterback under contract at, you know, I wouldn't say that their number, but at a at a somewhat reduced number that first year, because mm-hmm. the Eagles know how to take some of that if they get rid of them. Like they're not yeah. going to just up and trade them without any penalties. Yeah. Uh, I can- shit. I can see a team like, you know, hell, because a lot of people around the league, they're, they're thinking like, man, the Eagles, they don't know what they're doing with this kid. Like they're not getting mm-hmm. any help. And they're wasting the prime years of his career. Yeah. Hell, I don't see why a team who's desperately in need for a quarterback won't pull the trigger. Yeah, I I, I can see the Colts doing it. Frank Wright get him. I could definitely know? see that. Yeah. Frank Wright, like, oh, I'll take him. I got you. Don't mm-hmm. worry about it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh are you guys done with him? Oh, yeah. Are you done with him? <laughs> yeah. I got this under control. Discount? Come on over here. Discount? You give me discount? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can see that Old coming. Frank Wright, huh? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. You know, if they're gonna do good. it, because hell, sounds right now, good. every everybody's on the hot seat, even Doug. You know what I'm saying? Like, do, do you see Doug was even... like, well, shit. Maybe I need to get some reps for Hertz to see if this kid's got anything. I'll take him with me if I go somewhere else. <laughs> yeah. You know, you never know what's gonna happen with Doug. I mean, everybody's on the hot the seat place, right now. Bro. Everybody is on the hot seat. No one is safe right now within that organization. And you know, you need they really wow. need Kelsey's these safe next right now. Kelsey's pretty safe. <laughs> Kelsey pretty... gonna see in this offseason and be like, hey, you guys got another center lined up? Yeah, I think I, you know <laughs> put the money I, I, in the bag. Yeah, I almost feel like this might be Kelsey's last year, man. Dude, I bet he probably wants it to be his last year. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean what this is 10 years for him. Yeah, you know, I think so. I think. Uh, this is this is year number ten for him. I, I could see this being Kelsey's last year, you know, easy, you know, because I mean this 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 year has taken a toll on him, man. And you can see him out there battling, man, and it, yeah. you know, <laughs> it's not it's not pretty, but you know it is. What it is. <laughs> it's not, it's not I mean, you need. I mean, hey, man, as a who takes you over at center. Some- you need some uh, guards to help. Well, you because you got Nate Herbig, he can play center. And then Big Isaac, he's a center. I mean, you know, you could tell by his stance he plays center because his stance is so yeah, but, balanced. Yeah, but Isaac, man, I think, man, left guard is, is his spot. Man, He's solid, man. I like his game. Like, I really yeah. do. He, he rarely gets out of place or gets off balance. Like, I mean, the, uh, take, for instance, the game against the Rams. Like, Aaron Donald, he ain't no slouch, man. That dude yeah. had, like, a tackle that game. Like, mm-hmm. one tackle, I think. So, you know, he held his own, and when he when he, when he wasn't, you know, injured or whatnot, I never saw him as like one of the weaker links. On I actually thought 
you know, with Brandon going down, he, mm. you know, he'd be one of the stronger of the guards out there. You know, uh, his, his game is solid, man. I like him. Uh, I watched him against Atlanta last year. Ooh. Oh, it was not good. He got yeah, worked but, over pretty good. But I think that, you know, he's definitely come a lot. He's been – he's gotten a lot better this year. You know, and that, that's something that he's just going to have to continue to develop. But I think Nate Herbig is going to be your backup center as you, as you guys. So, who knows? You're going to – and then you – because you, you're thinking that, okay, if Kelsey doesn't come back, you're, you're banking on Brandon Brooks and Lane Johnson coming back. So, you got to figure out what you're going to do with center. Uh, then you got Isaac at and, uh, left guard and then big Jordan Mylotta. Now, that, you know what? Maybe you use this high draft pick to get top center in the draft. Yeah, all right. <laughs> That'll never happen. <laughs> I ain't doing that. no, it, it, that's like that's like me saying maybe they use their first round for a linebacker. Yeah, no. <laughs> that ain't gonna happen either. <laughs> that's not gonna yeah. happen. Yeah, yeah, that's not happening. That's not happening. But who are they? Um, hey, I had a thought. I forgot what it. Hey, before I, before I move on, hey, Jake, uh, tell us about the salon, man. Yeah, man, it's that time of year, you know, it's time to get the ladies looking nice for the Christmas and the uh, holiday season. So, y'all yeah, come on down to uh, sevensinhair.com. Visit sevensinhair.com. Got a full range of products, hair care products, and also skin uh, care products. My wife is trying to do this new love, love, love and health line that she's getting into. Mm. Trying to, uh, you know, slowly transition from you know, the stylist to like the more healthy approach to life or whatnot. So okay. with that being said, y'all, you know, y'all can still go visit her at 523 Delphi Drive in Sewell, New Jersey. Uh, it's Seven Zen Hair Artistry. You know, give her a call, ask for D, uh, set up an appointment. Also on sevenzenhair.com, you can use promo code BLINDSIDE to get 20% off all your orders. That's promo code BLINDSIDE. Sevenzenhair.com. All right, there we go. Get your get your tight, get your wig tightened up. Get your wig tightened up, boy. Yeah, she got me up a little bit. It, it was clearing this a couple of weeks ago. You know, when I did the show with you, it was, yeah. it was on full display. You yeah. know, I had hey, hey Todd, man, I had people saying I look like Greg Lewis. <laughs> like what? <Ooh. laughs> G Lou? I, I didn't know if that was a compliment or an Wait insult. A Wait a minute, G Lou? Yeah. Oh, Gregory. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> Is that because you were gray or because you're skinny? I think, the thing, I think it was the skinny part because I didn't have any gray. Yeah. I had on gray. Oh, man. Yeah, Jack's yeah. all trimmed out. Yeah, man. Yeah. That good life. That's nah, good. Man, man, I'm about to, oh, uh, yeah. I'm, yeah. I, you know, I'll see y'all land later. This ain't for the airways. Okay, got you, got you, got you. It ain't nothing too serious, like you know. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I'm yeah, trying yeah. to take their shirt off at the beach. That's it. <laughs> That's all, you know. Just, just want to feel comfortable. Take your shirt That's off. It. <laughs> right, take your shirt off. You know. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's up, man. But yeah, man. You know, this is gonna be interesting to see how this thing plays out, man. You know. It's... Yeah. So you got the kids starting this week. If, if it were up to me, I would say, yeah, man, go ahead and let him have at it. Let's see. You know, he's created a spark with this um, New Orleans game. It's definitely something that we need to uh, – we need this win. And uh, if he has a, the, the positive effect on this team, then, yeah, I'll go ahead and let him have at it, man. Well, I mean, Doug did say um, <clears throat> he was going to keep the decision close to the best. That's you know, good. But, but, but he also alluded that – you know, somehow or another, when he gives the news to whomever he gives the news to, it'll get out. <laughs> so mm-hmm. they probably know who's going to start already. Oh, and yeah. If, if, if he's wording it like that, I'm thinking if they're going to let the kids start. Like, yeah. why not just come out and say, Carson's my starter like you've been doing the past 11 weeks? Yeah, because, I mean, you know, the only reason that you would try to go back and forth with it is that you don't want New Orleans to be able to ca- right. start game planning for, for Jalen. So, you know... To me, I mean, if go, it was they Carson, they're going to game plan that quarter and a half, though. Yeah, they're going to yeah. game plan that now anyway, so it really doesn't even matter. So, because, I mean, you got him on film. I think it. I think that's what caught Green Bay off, off guard as well, just because, you know, you don't know what he brings to the table because he doesn't have much film. Everything has always been those little zone reads, and, um, you know, he only had three passes going into that game. 
And I think that that's being on the sideline and watching the game from that, from that angle has really helped him a lot because he's seen where Carson goes to the side of, of the field that they practice all the time where he's like, all right, the ball is supposed to go to the right. So he's zoned over to the right instead of seeing the entire field. So I think Jalen had an, enough time to sit there and say, you know what? I've seen how you co- focus on one side, but there's something over here on the other side because that one big pass to Rager to the left, Carson probably would have been looking right with that. Yeah, that was, a, that, was a, that was a pretty good pass. And I like what, you know, what you guys said about how he moves around in a pocket. Like, mm-hmm. it's after that first read and a rush comes, he, you know, buys himself some time. And he's looking at down the field in other reads mm-hmm. instead of just, you know, chucking it. But, man, like, I, I don't know, man. I think they give him, you know, a chance to start this year. And then we can really see, give him a full week. With the mm-hmm. ones, give him the whole game plan, like good, bad, ugly. Like you can still, you can always go back to Carson Wentz because you can't get rid of him. No, but you know, you know, mentally, this year is probably shot anyway. He probably need need to reset any fucking way. Yeah. You know, because it's like there's so much stuff going on around him, outside of him, and you know, he has to like, I guess, you know, tote the weight of that. But you know, that's why you get paid 108 million guaranteed. You can yeah. take this. You should be able to take this. Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe that's why you shouldn't guarantee so much money. Because <laughs> 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 then now here you are. You're like, oh man. I don't maybe want. We're... I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. What? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't want. It. That's too much. <laughs> uh, man, before we get out, before we get out of here, let me give you all this manscape read, man. If you guys are out there looking for the ultimate stocking stuffers for the holiday season, look no further because our sponsors, Manscaped, have the tools to make you win this year's stocking stuffer or white elephant competition. I've never heard of a white elephant competition. What the hell is a white elephant competition? Hey, man, I don't know. Yeah, I got the white yeah, elephant in my head right now. Shit. Yeah, I don't, I don't Sounds know what that kinky. is. Yeah, it does sound a little weird. All right, Manscaped is the only brand dedicated to below-the-waist grooming and hygiene products. And great news, they just released their products across Europe, Canada, and the great down under Australia. A few of their products that are prime stocking stuffers this season are the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant. The name speaks for itself. Also, the Crop Reviver Ball Toner, a spray-on toner that will give your balls a little slice of heaven with their aloe vera and hazel extracts. The Crop Cleanser Body Wash, a full body wash that you can also use on your hair. Crop Mops, which are ball wipes. You never know when an opportunity strikes, so you should always be prepared. Foot Dusters is a foot deodorant designed to keep the stinkers of feet smelling fresh. Shears 2.0 also is a luxury four-piece nail kit. They also have the new and improved Weed Whacker, which is a no nose and ear hair trimmer, which provides proprietary skin safe technology to get rid of those nasty nose hairs. So, you know, mm-hmm. you don't have to worry about bats hanging in the caves. So let's not forget about the best trimmer for your butt, balls, and body. The Lawn Mower 3.0 trimmer offers a replaceable ceramic blade with advanced skin safe technology, which helps reduce grooming accidents. These formulations are all vegan, cruelty-free, dye-free, sulfate-free, and paraben-free, so you know these products are legit. Get 20% off plus free shipping at manscaped.com when you use promo code TAIL, T-A-L-E. Whether this is for your dad, brother, or friend, get them something they will actually use, and it's almost sure it'll get a good laugh. Get 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com we use promo code TAIL, T-A-L-E, by be the balliest gift giver this year with Manscaped.com. Balls to the wall. Balls to the wall. Shave yeah, the man. balls. Yeah, yeah man. Okay. How, have, you, have you guys been enjoying your Manscaped products? Man, it's... I would recommend two lawnmowers. Right. <laughs> two. Two, uh, two. Yeah. You know? And then label one of them. Yeah. Yeah, you, know, you don't want to get them mixed up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't, don't want to do that. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to get them mixed up. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Dude, yeah. I found that, man, it's, it's a smooth cut, man. Like, yeah. It really is. Like, yeah. I've tried, I've tried like other, 
competitors before and nothing like this, man. Like, yeah. We could really I could really be a spokesperson. Yeah, yeah, it's good, man. I'm glad. I'm glad you guys oh, you like are. It. Yeah. I'm glad you guys enjoy <laughs> it. look at you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nice and aerodynamic. Check me out. Yeah, hey man, you know, shit, you gotta sift through, you know. You gotta glide, man. You gotta glide. <laughs> well, that's cool. Oh well, man. man. Well, man, hopefully, man, these guys can come out here and, and, and uh, shock the world. And yeah, I hope the they Saints. give the kid a shot. You know, yeah, I yeah. really do because I think that they'll simplify the game plan, and I think that that's. When we'll operate the best right now with with the young with the youth that's out there. So, mm-hmm. Tell me this: hope, hope for the best. Do you think Doug has a better relationship with the backup quarterbacks than he does with the starter? Oh, definitely. Yeah. He can relate to him more. Yeah, it always like, seems like there's a little bit more affection towards the backup yeah. quarterback. We've seen, uh, what it was. Does that mean he's going to have more affection to Carson? No. Well, now. Well, well no, no, no. Well, no. When the starter no, no, becomes no. the backup. No. Well, no. well, the incumbent starter. Yeah. No, the he's not doing that. The butterfly like, effect. The, the game yesterday, I that was the first time I've seen Doug talk to a quarterback <laughs> other than Carson for as much as he did. Like he, they, they had a relationship yesterday that, that the stuff they, they were mm-hmm. talking about, that was a coach, a play caller and a quarterback relationship. That's what we was right. expecting to see from him and Carson. So mm-hmm. that right there shows us, man. I mean, damn, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to know that their relationship isn't the greatest. Yeah. yeah you right. can't be. Not if you, you like. Think, do you think that's a personality thing or? Uh, Probably, right? I don't know. Like I'm not, I'm, I'm I'm I I was only around him like once at training camp. Like I don't I, I don't really know Carson like that as a person. I don't either. Yeah, so yeah. like I don't really know what is you know. I kept it that way. It's easier to talk bad about him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, so, you, I, 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 so you're not I, I riding know. shotgun in the, on my daily crumb? You know the, my daily crumb mobile. Oh, isn't that uh all you can eat uh fish yeah. and bread? Yeah, the, the bread. Yeah, the, the, the endless truck. fish basket. <laughs> See, man. One That's fish, my two biblical fish. Pun right there. Huh? <laughs> Three fish. Oh man! <laughs> she just gonna feed the whole fucking. No, I'm just... <laughs> nah, I haven't run shotgun in that. But <laughs> hey, guys, I said it a few weeks ago, man. The truth hurts, and we're here. Yeah, we're here. The truth hurts. Here we are. Here we are. Here we are. And he's good. Yeah, the truth yeah. hurts, and he's good. Yeah. yeah, but who does it? But 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 who does it hurt? Like who does it hurt more though? Is it, you know, the organization? Is it like who who's who's really hurting more? The situation hurts, man. The situation, the situation hurts. hurts. Yeah, yeah the, whole, the whole thing sucks. But it's it's going to be interesting to see how they pull this thing off, man. I mean, they're going to have to get out here and uh, get a big win against the Saints, and uh, if not. You best believe that you're going. Some of these young guys are going to get a lot more playing time because I think some of your your more seasoned vets are going to go ahead and start. Hey man, you know, shut me down because we're done. If you're not, if you don't have a chance of making it to the playoffs, yeah, this team going to be done. Man, if that wagon fuck around and have its break zone Sunday, then it will hurt. It will be yeah. hurts out there. Shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so so we're going to see, man. Hopefully they pull this thing off. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> hey, he got the thicker over there. He like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Right, yeah. See you, Jack, with the yeah. word play. Good word play. English major. <laughs> yeah, there I'll you go. The wagon. What fucking wagon is he talking about? <laughs> oh. Yeah. oh, the Wentz wagon. I the Wentz wagon. Wentz wagon. Well, you gotta explain that it just takes the luster away from it. No, <laughs> I want to see what it tastes like. I want to see what it tastes like. Oh Feed man! Feed the wagon. Feed yeah. the wagon. Oh, no. So we'll see. Yeah, yeah, boy. So we'll see, man. Hopefully, they get this thing in. If not, we'll be back next week, and we'll talk about it some more. 
right, man. We out. All right. Till the next time, man. We'll see you later, man. Thanks for coming out, man. Y'all be safe and uh, to the next time. Yeah, body check. There it is. <laughs> <laughs>